What's up guys and gals and welcome to Abandoned Ship. We're checking out, I guess, the streamer demo that they've sent over. Uh, my name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. I accidentally uploaded something that I didn't want to upload last week, so I figured rather than re-upload it like on Monday or Tuesday or whenever this goes live, instead, what I would decide to do is I'm just going to re-record the entire series so that those of you that accidentally saw the secret video that was not supposed to be released uh, will get something fresh. And that those of you who have not seen it yet, you still get to see Abandoned Ship. So be aware, this is a completely different video. We're going to be playing a little differently. That's pretty cool anyways, because our other playthrough didn't go that great to begin with, because I'm bad at life. And so, welcome on in. Uh, this game is called Abandoned Ship. If you've never seen it before, it's kind of like a naval simulator meets FTL. Uh, it's also got a little bit of Sid Meier's Pirates in there. Later on, the plan for the game is for it to be like open world, but for right now, all they have is a combat early access demo that they've sent out to the press so that you can get a feel for what the fights are going to be like. It also seems like it's going to have a little bit of Monster Hunter in there. Uh, later on, you're going to be able to fight monsters, take their parts, build new stuff for your ship, and it's pretty awesome. I like anything that's barking up the same tree as Sid Meier's Pirates. So let's get started. At the beginning of the game, we have 180 gold. We can go to port, and we can get our ship fixed up, or we can go buy new crew. I think we should buy new crew. We've got... Bernard. Uh, this is my crew right here. I think we're gonna drop on out of here real fast. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we can go to port, and so when we go to port, we can go to the tavern, or we can go to a local shop to repair and upgrade our ship. Here is our beautiful little frigate. Uh, we start out with three cannons to a side, so this is a ship that has 12 cannons as far as I can tell, but it can max out at 20. Not the biggest ship, but still a decently sized ship. Uh, we've got a couple different cannons that we can add on right here. So we've got the Sure Shot. Prioritizes accuracy over damage. High accuracy, especially from far range. Low damage to hull sections. Small crew damage. We also have the Chain Shot over here, which is for knocking down their sails. This game actually has a pretty interesting way of handling chases. Uh, so each ship has like a mobility rating based on your sails. And you can pull closer or further away from one another based on that mobility. And Chain Shot actually erodes that number and makes it so, for example, a slower ship could actually roll up on a faster ship. And so running double Chain Shot on a ship that wants to kite you and snipe you is a really good idea. Uh, we've also got upgrades that can go into our ship. So we've got water pumps right here. We can put in some water pumps. We already have those, though, right there. We have a lifeboat. I think the lifeboat is going to be for the game later on. It doesn't really do anything right now. But as I've heard it described later on, like in the press kits and whatnot, the lifeboat is so that if your ship gets sunk, the captain and the crew can jump onto a lifeboat, and that's actually like a game unto itself, is you guys trying to survive on the ocean in a lifeboat until you can get back and get another boat. Kind of interesting stuff. The icebreaker probably... Not that useful right now? I don't know. It might be useful. It's for getting through ice, but we don't have a world map at the moment, so that's not going to matter. And then we've got ourselves... Oh, harpoons as well. I've never seen that upgrade before. We will return to port. In addition, we can go to the tavern. We can hire some new crew. As of right now, we have Chester, who is our captain. He's got a level 2 in everything. We've got Bernard, who is a shooter, so he's good at shootery things. We've got Ezra. Uh, who is our repair person, or a generic sailor, so she's got two points in repair. Basically, it's combat, repair, uh, ranged combat, which is like with your cannons and stuff like that, and then navigation. And then we've got Titus the Navigator. My suggestion would be that we pick up somebody that can fire guns so that the captain and everybody else doesn't have to. Uh, we've got a surgeon here, we've got a gunner, we've got a marine, we've got a sailor. So fixing the ship, uh, invading other people's ships, and also firing cannons. Firing cannons and navigating, strangely enough. He's got a bonus point to navigator right there. And then we've also got Leland, who is a surgeon. What surgeons do is I think they just do like an AoE heal over time to everybody that's around them so they make people just like passively regenerate which actually doesn't sound that awesome but if you're running up against somebody that's running a lot of grape shot it might be useful there's a little bit of like a rock paper scissors thing in this game where it doesn't really matter how good your crew is if the enemy can bombard them with gunfire and kill them before they can do anything and so I'm gonna take the I want the marine I'm gonna take the marine I, I like having the extra marine because he can fire cannons I've never done any boarding combat or anything like that did I just take the gunner Shit, I took the gunner instead of the marine. He was more expensive. I wonder if I can put him back. You do not get anything for this. Well, I guess we get the gunner for right now then. Damn, we're going to stick with the gunner then. It's fine. I don't think boarding combat is in the game anyway, so the marine's not going to be that great. He's gonna. He was cheaper though. That's the reason why I wanted him. With the local shops, I would suggest we go like... We can add more cannons. I would probably do that. 
Let's add extra cannons to this side. All combat is going to take place on the left-hand side of the ship. Uh, what you can do is you can flip the ship around so you can fight on the right-hand side if you feel like these cannons are being decimated too much. But as of right now, I haven't really seen a problem with that coming up. And so without further ado, let's go back to sea and we will go to battle! And so here we are in battle. This is our ship. This is the enemy's ship. They have two navigators and they have a capitan. My captain is currently navigating. I want you to come over to here. Navigator, you come over there. Captain, go for the grape shot. And then cannoneer, go over here and control these cannons. Now, when these meters fill up, that means that our cannons are ready to fire a pot shot at the enemy. Right now, we are currently at medium long range. And once we have a navigator back up in here, these will light up and you'll be able to close and increase the distance between you and the enemy, depending on what the strategy of your ship is. So if you have like a sniper ship, you want to stay further away. If you have like a bombardment ship, you want to stay farther away. But if you're just doing like the normal naval thing like we are, just staring at our belly buttons all day long, we want to be nice and close to the enemy. Uh, the captain should come over here to the grape shot cannon. And then as soon as the navigator gets on the steering wheel right there, I'm going to pull in close. Because you can't use grape shot unless you are inside this little area right here. So, hey guys, why are you trying to get away from me? Why are you trying to get away from me, guys? I got to target these cannons too. So I'm going to click right there. And I'm going to tell them just to kind of fire in that region. I may need to... Oh, there goes the cannons. There goes the cannons. I don't like how warp fire comes out of our cannons. That makes me feel a little bit like I'm a heretic. Uh, we've been hit. We've taken a little bit of damage to the cannons, and we've taken a little bit of damage to the sails. So I'm going to send the sailor over, and you work on the sails. I assume that's why they call him a sailor, because he takes care of the sails. It's part of the name. Ow! He just tried to shoot through my... That's my ventilation shaft right there, man. It's kind of stinky underneath the deck if I don't have that. You can't shoot a hole in that. Then we're going to be the stank ship, and nobody's going to want to hang out with us. Luckily, we've got this guy beat on size. Go ahead and fire that at his... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And as you can see, as we did that, we're starting to move closer to him now on our little range meter. Oh, my God. There is so much gunfire coming at us. That's okay. He's got a bunch of gunfire coming at him, too, so he can be nice and stressed. We've actually almost sunk their ship. This is the intro ship, so they're not that difficult. I'm close enough for grape shot now, so I'm going to do that. And it's time to unleash the grapes of wrath on that crew. They're trying to fix the sails because they want to get away from us. With these cannons right here, start firing like so, kind of at the crew. I want the crew to maybe get hit by a cannonball so that they have to retire back to their medical station. Uh, on our ship, a list of the stuff that we have. So let's talk about the UI for right now. This is the health of all the varying areas of the ship. So the cannons, the sails, the steerage, and then we also have the uh, sick bay over here on the right hand side. If you stand near the sick bay, you get health back slowly. Down here at the bottom, we have our maneuvers gauge. The maneuvers gauge allows you to do different things, so we can flip the ship around. Every time you have a captain who's actually steering the ship or a navigator who's steering the ship, this will constantly increase. I assume that later on in the game, this is going to have more options, and these are going to be like special abilities that give you extra evasion and stuff like that. But for right now, we only have two abilities. We can ram the enemy if we're at point-blank range, or we can turn the ship around and fire from this side. I wouldn't bother with that. I wouldn't bother with it. Just not my thing. Other things on the ship. So bottom left-hand corner... We have the amount of water that's on board our ship. If you spring a leak, uh, water starts to leak in. You got to repair the hole, then you got to pump the water out. We have our health. Uh, we have the health of all of our crew. And then we have the range meter right here in the top left hand corner. We have the exact same in the top left and the top right that our ship has as far as its status goes. Uh, objects that are on our ship. So we have the sails, we have the cannons, uh, we have the chain shot cannon, we have a grape shot cannon, we've got the sick bay, we've got ourselves a chain shot or a grape shot on either side as well. Over here we have the winch, so if somebody gets knocked overboard, uh, you've got to winch them back in. And then we've also got the water pumps, which allow you to pump water out from the below decks. And so keep that in mind as we're playing forward. Yar, it's time to do some piratey things. I don't think I'm a pirate. I think I'm just kind of a guy, but I'm going to shoot. Oh, we've killed their captain. Your captain is dead. So when somebody gets knocked down and their health goes down to minimum, you have like five seconds to pick that person back up. Otherwise, they die permanently, and they are just like gone from your ship. This enemy ship, this boat, should be down really soon. Uh, for right now, the only things that are inside of the game at the moment with the streamer demo that I was given... It's a string of 10 battles that you fight, and each one gets harder and harder until you get to the final one. And they do actually get pretty difficult. Oh, we sunk their battleship. That's what happened. We called B4, and they were like, no, B4 what, though? And I'm like, before I win, homie. 
And so if they have been sunk, that's what they get for building their ship mostly out of ropes and portholes. Goodbye! I will see you all later. It sinks down below, and plenty of useful materials and textiles float on the surface. You blow a kiss to Lady of Deluxe. Uh, so we've got 128 gold right there. We can go back to port five times during this demo. We're not going to do that because I want more money. So next battle, I'm going to pause the game up because it makes me feel better about my situation. I don't like how it rearranges my crew and doesn't save their positions each time I leave a battle. But it's not that big of a pro Oh, they want to be close to me. Oh, won't you sail just a little bit closer? Please, 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 say you will, say you will. All right, so get on the grape shot right there. You guys target, oh, I don't know, shoot at their cannons, I guess. Hurt their cannons, they've got it. there you go, that's what I like to see. Bang those things out before they bang holes in me. Uh, we have no fires, luckily enough. So there's no fires over here, there's no holes in the ship. I know it looks like there's holes in the ship, but there's actually not. Uh, let's go ahead and fire at cannon dudes right there. And so there's a little bit of damage to their cannon dudes. I want to get them to stop firing. That's my objective for right now. Oh, they're pumping water out. Uh, that's my objective for right now is I don't want their cannoneers to be able to fire at me. If I can disable them and deal enough damage, then they've got to go to the sick bay. Or they've got to tough it out and risk death like that guy did right there. He's trying to fix the cannon. That guy is dead. The next grape shot goes out. I'm going to go after this dude over here, although I think we're probably going to have sunk the ship long before I can kill these guys off with grape shot. And grape shot out. There we go. We'll shoot the captain this time around. Keep firing cannonballs over there. He's trying to fix a hole inside of their ship. We don't have those problems. Sailor, go ahead and fix my sails while we wait. You'll notice that little meter right there goes up. If our sails are busted, it just allows them to maneuver better than we can. And I don't like it when the enemy is more maneuverable than me. It upsets me. Uh, they're trying to bandage themselves right now over by the medical deck. They've got two new fresh holes that have been ripped in the deck because we don't play that game. Uh, is that a fire right there? You guys should probably put those out before my entire ship burns down. Put out the fire. So they've got fire cannons over there. I don't know how I didn't notice that. But they've got flaming cannons on that side. Uh, the flaming cannons are definitely an issue. I've run them in previous playthroughs. They're pretty cool for setting the enemy on fire. It's pretty hilarious watching them run around and try to keep their entire world from... You know, conflagrating and all that fun stuff. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, I like the normal cannons too. So we've sunk another one. Another $128. Hell yeah, we're going to port. Let's go and we will visit local shops to repair and upgrade our ship. Uh, we can repair our ship for four gold. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. As of right now, you don't really need food on your ship. Food is for later on when you start. We got sniper rifles. Ooh, sniper rifles be kind of sexy. What does the sniper rifle do? Where does that get affixed to? It goes onto the grape shot cannon. Hmm. I could fire that from any range. That might be good. We could also get flaming cannons over here like a mortar. I get like two mortars and I could fire those at the enemy. That'd be kind of sexy. But then I'd have to get crew to go with them. What upgrades do we have? Hull spikes. And so those make our ramming more effective. We've got hull armor over here. A partial armor plating that reduces damage by 10%. Automatic water pumps that pump out the water all by their lonesome. And so, I think I'm probably going to get... Let's get some mortars. Uh, we can only get the one mortar. Oh, I was hoping I could get two. I was hoping I could buy that twice and put it over here. But that actually does help me save money a little bit better. Let's go to the tavern. And I would like to get... We've got Grover. Uh, get Beecher. I want as many gunners as I can have for right now. Because I am going to run a ton of guns up in here. It's going to be amazing. We do have a limit on the amount of crew that we're allowed to have. The enemy is allowed to have, like, I've done fights later on in the game where they have, like, eight or nine crew, and they're just, like, sniping you and blowing the hell out of you. This game gets scary near the end. It gets scary. Uh, let's go back to C, and we'll go to the next battle. I have a mortar now, which I can fire from, like, anywhere. You go up to there. You take the cannons on that side. You go navigate. We've got gunners everywhere. Things are happening. They're trying to pull in close, so get on the grape shot cannon. And as soon as that mortar is good to go, you drop that damn bomb right there. Just ba-boom! Fire over in that region. We'll fire over in that region. Does he have, like, a monster on board? What the hell is that? Oh, no. He's got a monster. Hold on. we got to go fight this thing. Uh, we've got a hole in the deck. So I'm going to pause that up. We will go and work on that hole. We've got to fight this monster or whatever it is. Uh, fire fire the grape shot perfect absolutely perfect and then drop bombs on their moms right there 
Uh, he's fixing the hole in the deck already. That's great. The captain is fighting whatever the hell that monster is that tried to run up on board with us. Uh, we're not that hurt, so get back to doing whatever it is that you're doing because I need cannon fire to be going outwards. Uh, cannons coming in right there. We've got some fire on deck. These guys are using firestorm cannons. It's a little bit of a worry. Has he finished off that hole right there? All right, so you stop navigating. Come over here and handle the fires. Grape shot them again. I want them up and out of my business. And once they're done, fire a mortar right there at their medical area. I don't care if they're wounded. Keep firing at the wounded people until they fall over dead. Uh, we have a little bit of fire on deck right now. As these guys finish off these fires, we're going to try and pump the water out as well. We do have some pretty serious water problems at the moment. And I would like to fix that. You go over there and handle that. You go over there and handle that. God, they set our entire deck on fire. We've been on fire for a minute over here. Uh, we've got the grape shot ready to go. So let's put a nice little double tap on them. I think it's going to hurt. So there it is. We did a little bit more damage. I don't even know if the mortar actually hurts their people, but I like to think that it does way deep down like a little... I don't know. I have a merry little thought in my brain that maybe it does hurt them more than they want to be hurt. Uh, they're trying to fire mortars and whatnot over here. You pump the water out of the bottom of the ship because we do have some water in there. As you can see, the meter goes down pretty quickly. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Keep firing over there. Keep their health nice and low. And any bombardment strategy is a winning strategy, in my opinion. As long as they go down to Davy Jones' locker, I don't really care. I don't really care. All I care about is the victory. I'd like to get a second mortar over here, too, so that, like, the other sailor can maybe fire a double mortar. So it can be like, thunk, 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 keep firing at him. Uh, your keen eye crewman spots a large sack emerge from the sinking vessel. It is full of pearls. Hell yeah, we got a pearl necklace. All right, so we've got pearls. I'm going to go straight to the next battle because I don't see a reason to go back to port more than I have to. Uh, we are fighting in a storm right now, which is not good. You go to chain shot. You go over to there. You go over to there. Perfect. Navigator. Captain. Go to the gunnery. Uh, you go up to there because I think... Are they trying to close with us right now? They are trying to close with us. Swap over to grape shot then. Swap over to grape shot. It gets rid of their crew. You know what I'm going to do because it looks like he's going to be firing grape shot at us too. Uh, go ahead and bombard the grape shot guy. He is by far the most dangerous target. And we need him to not exist anymore. Uh, the more pain and suffering I can inflict upon their ship, the more water I can fill their deck with, the better. Uh, we got that right there. Go ahead and fire that at them. I would like them to no longer be shooting. You, since you're wounded, go over to the medical station. Feel better. Work on those boo-boos. Uh, make them look a little bit less... I don't know, man. We're on, we're on a ship right now. Nobody's had vitamin C in, like, 15 years. It's not... It's a little ugly, okay? Like, everybody's turning sort of yellow. Their teeth are definitely worrisome. I wish that they would get the dental care that they needed, but they never quite do. Ooh, they're making me choose. Kill that crewman over there. There we go. Drop him. So they got one less crew now to patch holes and take care of problems. As soon as he gets done patching that hole, you start putting out fires... We take it a little bit of damage. We got a little bit of water on deck, but yar, a pirate cares not for water below the decks. Let's continue fourth and fifth and fight with our enemies. I am gonna shoot a mortar at those two. I'm also gonna vary up my shot to start focusing on them. Uh, as soon as the grape shot is done, they're fixing a hole. Oh, and a mortar hole. Okay, we got that right there. Go ahead and fire that at them. That's two more crew down, and that one is almost dead. It looks like their strategy of trying to duke it out with us. Not working out very great for them. Not working out very great. Uh, you go back over here. Work on the sails if you can, I guess. Oh, he's not working on the sails. Fire over there. See if we can hurt that. I don't even know what it is. Fire that over there, and they are looking pretty sketchy right now. Keep firing at their medical center. That's right. No quarter for the wounded. They've tried to take our ship. Me ship is golden and awesome. Ye cannot have it. Ye can't have it. Keep firing and goodbye, crewman. And it's just one marine left on that poor little ship as it sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Lonely and headed down to Davy Jones' locker. Rough day to be you, last marine standing. 
It's pretty funny when guys get knocked overboard. You'll see it later on once we get some new battle types. Uh, there are environmental changes, as you can tell. Like, there's rain. Uh, later on, there will be tidal waves that knock all your guys down and slide them to the back of the ship, like, every three to four minutes, and sometimes they knock them overboard. I've seen the entire enemy crew get knocked overboard by, like, one wave, except for one guy who's, like, desperately trying to pull them all out. It's crazy. This game gets wild. Uh, let's go back to port here. Back to the port. I gotta go to port. Meow. Going to the port. Alright, so we got lots of money. We can go with acid bombs. Damages crews in the area, preventing them from entering until the effect has passed. That sounds pretty good. The ship smasher sounds pretty awesome as well. I don't have a problem with that. I think we should get after it. Um, we can go with the ship smasher, so brace for impact test. High hull section and crew damage creates a single hull crack. Causes a brace for impact test. The brace for impact test... So you gotta click a little button, and that makes your crew brace for impact, and then everybody that's on the ship when they need to brace will have to make like a dice roll, and if they fail that roll, they get knocked down. If they critically fail that roll, they get knocked off of the ship, and so it's actually a pretty good piece of equipment. I like the acid bomb better, though. I'm gonna go with acid bombs. Uh, so this is gonna allow us to shoot it at the enemy and lock them off their stations so that like if they stand and they try to fire cannons at us, uh, they're gonna take non-stop damage over time while trying to operate the cannons, and that's really good. We can also use this and shoot it onto their medical center for when they try to heal, which I think would work out pretty well. Uh, we've also got a crow's nest over here, a lifeboat, heavy spikes. Uh, the crow's nest makes it so if you're fighting in the fog, your accuracy goes up. Uh, there are like fog levels and stuff like that where you can't see, and being able not to see is kind of horrifying. But I'm gonna save my money for right now. We'll wait and see what we have later on so that I can max out on like fire cannons or like deck wreckers or anything like that. Sail back to sea to the next battle with no regrets. Uh, the frog embraces you, obscuring your visibility. So there it is. The level of the crow's nest on your ship will determine what you can see of the enemy crew and their ship sections when vision is impaired. If you do not have that and are fighting from the farthest range, some weapons that target crew individually will not function. Yep, exactly. And so they are gonna try and pull us back if I know them. If I know what the AI is going to do. Uh, you guys, you work on the mortar for right now. You get back right there. Uh, we need to fire a chain shot at them, and we need to close the gap. You get on the mortar over here. You don't have anything else to do for right now. So if I can fire some acid mortars at them and just give them something to think about before we go too much further. I can't see what I'm doing, so just, like, fire. I don't know. Hopefully it works out. We got a lot of people bunched up up there. You fire some chain shot at their sails. So there's the first volley right there, and then I'm going to give the order to draw closer, and in fact, it is working right now, which is good. I was a tiny bit worried about that. Uh, you fire a mortar right there. As soon as he's done, we will fire... What the hell is that? Oh, he threw a critter monster at us. Goody. Okay, so you fire that real quick, or, you know, just fight the monster on deck. I don't think he's very good at... I don't think he's very good at fighting, so I think I should probably help out over here. Oh, they fired a sniper round at my character, too. I saw that, you little bastards. I saw that. Oh, you better hope. You better hope. I'm going to put some acid on you. You go to the med station. Capitan will take over with the firing of the chain shot because they are actually keeping pretty good range on us. Uh, you step off the acid real quick. So they forced me off of my, they forced me off of my situation there. We've got no fire, so that's great. We just made a fire test and passed. Keep firing the chain shot at him so that I can close the gap. We're inside the range of some of our other weapons right now, although not as much as I would like to be. And is that ready to go? He's healed up. Go back over and start firing the mortar again. You put an acid bomb right there. There it is, and hopefully they, like, melt to death and move. Uh, they're going to go over to that side, so mortar the med bay. You fire that over there before transferring over to the grape shot because we're close enough. No, fire it. We're close enough to the grape shot for right, but they're going to try and pull away if we don't keep their sails messed up. They are getting outduped hard right now. Uh, you go fix the fire. And there we go. We've got him back up on the grape shotgun. Motors are ready to fire. Everything's looking good. That's going out right there. We have no water on deck, which is great. Fire some more mortars. You transfer over to the acid mortar, basically alternate between the two, so they can fire them both. You put an acid bomb right there, and as soon as that grape shot is ready, this is gonna be sexy. There we go. I don't think I've killed anybody, 
but I have severely wounded most of their crew. Come back over to the mortar. They're not going to be able to do much for a little bit. Put acid right there. Sailor, get rid of that. And you fire right there, and they're going to rush on over into the acid and hopefully die a horrible death. But they didn't die a horrible death, so now I'm just disappointed. Now I'm just disappointed. Fire another acid bomb over there. I like that acid bomb. That shit's got to be annoying for the living crew. I don't know if it'll kill anybody, though. Well, we got one crew right there, right before we sunk the rest of the ship. But I think, suffice it to say, they weren't feeling too healthy over on that side. It looks like we did a decent amount of damage. Keep firing. I believe in overbearing power and force and verb to get rid of my enemies. But yeah, this game's called Abandoned Ship. If you guys liked it, uh, the game's going to be coming out next year. This is the combat demo that they've sent out so that we can check it out. I'll probably do a follow-up episode where, you know, you get to see a little bit more of the game and we can go further in and see some of the harder fights. But aside from that, make sure you wishlist it. I've got a link down below for you so you can keep an eye on the game. They're looking like they're going to do like a Sid Meier's Pirates meets Age of Pirates 2 type deal where it's going to be open world, free roaming, but you also have like naval combat and stuff like that, the quest for riches. I don't have too much information on the game right now, but I I am very excited from what I've heard in the first place and so either way thank you for watching if you like this video make sure that you hit that like button that's the best way to help the channel out and increase our visibility I will see you all next time I do everybody